Hi, this is Rain from Rain Travels, and I'm back with a new video before we continue on with our Schengen Visa series. So this one will be the Schengen Visa FAQs, frequently asked questions that I have encountered in the past few months. So let's start! <music> The following will be covered in this first set of frequently asked questions. The countries that you can visit on a Schengen visa, the number of entries that you will need be needing, as well as where to submit your visa applications, and visa validity versus your duration of stay. So what's a Schengen visa? A Schengen visa allows you to travel within the 26 countries in the Schengen area or the Schengen zone. So you can see those countries here in this photo. And here's a list of the different Schengen visa countries from the schengenvisainfo.com. So question number two, can I travel to country A if I have a single entry visa from country B? So here's a specific example. Can I travel to Spain if I have a single entry visa from the Netherlands? The answer is yes, definitely. You can travel to Spain with a single entry Schengen visa from the Netherlands. Again, uh, these are the 26 countries where you can travel to with a single entry Schengen visa. Question number three. I want to travel to Switzerland, Germany, and France. Do I need a multiple entry visa? The answer is no. So all three countries, Switzerland, Germany, and France, belong to the Schengen area. So a single entry visa would suffice. Again, these are the different countries that belong to the Schengen area. So the underlying question is, when do you really need a double entry or a multiple entry visa? So the following examples are lifted from the Schengen Visa Handbook. So you will need a double entry visa if, number one, you will travel to the Schengen area twice within your travel period. Here's a concrete example. A Russian national will travel to Croatia from Moscow with a stopover in Vienna on both his outbound and return trips. He will need to apply via the Austrian consulate to cover his stopovers during his outbound and his return trip. So he will need a double entry visa. To help you visualize this further, here is his sample itinerary wherein you can see the first entry and the second entry to Vienna. You will also need a double entry visa if you have several separate visits that are to be carried out within a period of two months. Here's example number two. An Indian national who is a student in London will be visiting Denmark from August 15 to 18 and Spain from September 3 to 12. So in this case, the student should apply with the Spanish consulate and the visa that should be issued should cover both visits. So this is how his itinerary would look like. The first entry will be via Denmark and the second entry will be via Spain. You will need a multiple entry visa if, number one, you will travel to the Schengen area several times a year. For example, a Senegalese national visits her family in France and travels to other member states for one or for once or twice a year for business purposes. Since her regular visits are in France, she must apply with a French consulate as it's her most frequent destination, and she can request for a multiple entry visa. Question number four. This is my first Schengen visa application, and I would like to request for a multiple entry visa. Do you think the embassy will grant my request? 
this one will be at the embassy's discretion and will typically rely on your travel itinerary. In granting multiple entry visas, embassies typically rely on the following cascade. A one-year multiple entry visa is granted if you have lawfully used three previous Schengen visas within a span of two years. Next one, a three-year multiple entry visa is given to you when you have previously used a multiple entry visa valid for a year within the previous two years. And lastly, a five-year multiple entry visa is given when you have lawfully used a previous multiple entry visa valid for at least two years within the previous three years. Question number five. I want to travel to Switzerland, Germany, and France. Where do I submit my application? So you will have to identify where will you stay the longest. For example, in this itinerary wherein you'll stay for five days in Switzerland, six days in France, and four days in Germany, you must apply with France. We can also answer this by asking where is your point of entry. For example, in your itinerary, you will be staying in Switzerland, France, and Germany for five days each. However, you will be entering through Switzerland. So, you must apply with Switzerland then. We can also answer this question in terms of the exact place where you will hand over your application. In this case, it can be either the Visa Application Center or the Embassy or Consulate. Question number 6. My visa is already granted. So, how long can I stay in the Schengen area? For this particular one, you have to check your visa duration or the duration of stay on your visa sticker. This will be located on the upper right-hand side of the visa sticker. In this particular one, it is valid for 90 days. So, the duration that you can stay within the Schengen area is 90 days. Question number seven, my visa is already granted. Until when can I stay in the Schengen area? So for this question, you have to check your visa validity. The visa validity period is found to the left of your visa duration. And in this case, this particular visa is valid from April 13, 2021 until August 1, 2021. When you are given a longer validity, don't forget that you always have to follow the 90 over 180 day rule. This particular rule means that you can only stay for a total of 90 days within the Schengen area over a rolling period of 180 days. So here's a concrete example. Example 1. Your entry date is on April 13, 2021, and you leave the Schengen area on July 11, 2021. That means that you have already spent a total of 90 days. And since this particular visa is for single entry only, you cannot enter and go back to the Schengen area. Example number 2. So, you enter the Schengen area on May 1st and leave on July 29. So, that means that you have spent a total of 90 days. Take note that your visa still has until August 1. However, you cannot use that anymore as you have used up your 90-day duration. That's it for our Schengen Visa FAQs and see you on the next videos. Bye!